Open your ears and lube up your butthole. It's time for the What Do We Call It podcast. Now, here's your host, it's J-Man. Welcome to the What Do We Call It podcast. I'm J-Man. And I'm number one fan, Tim. Here's a story from the news. In April 2017, the Sawmill Fire swept across the dry grasslands of southern Arizona, rapidly burning a charred path through open rangelands and engulfing the mesquite-covered foothills of the Santa Rita Mountains. The blaze ultimately spread over 47,000 acres of land, forcing residents to evacuate the area as roughly 800 firefighters fought to get it under control. The cause? A gender reveal party gone horribly wrong. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Dennis Dickey, an off-duty Border Patrol agent, was right celebrating there. his wife's pregnancy at a party near Green Valley, Arizona. His attorney told the Star Green that in preparation he had filled a target with colored powder. It was supposed to, you know, you shoot the target, and then the colored powder comes out revealing either pink or blue. He filled up a thing of tannerite with... That shit makes an explosion. I don't know if you ever messed with it, but... Okay, well, here we go. The target also contained tannerite, a legal but highly explosive substance. So when Dickey fired his rifle at the target, the ensuing explosion sparked a fire that quickly spread through the dry brush, spurred on by an unusually high wind that day and lower than average rainfall. You think Smokey the Bear might have told him that there was a high forest fire rating? I'm pretty sure he would have. So by the time it was fully contained over a week later, the fire had done $8 million worth of damage. Guess who's paying for that? (laughs) Well, he immediately reported the fire to law enforcement and admitted he had been responsible for starting it. He was charged with violating U.S. Forest Service regulations by causing a fire without permit, a misdemeanor offense. And on Friday, the U.S. Attorney's Office in Arizona announced that Dickey had pled guilty. It was an accident. I'm sorry. Tannerite doesn't really make a fireball explosion. It doesn't. It's just poof. But there's power behind it. Like if you fill the toilet with tannerite and you shot it, mm-hmm. you're gonna have fucking shrapnel flying everywhere. Why the fuck? Would but you it's put, not gonna be a ball of fire. Why would you put tannerite in a toilet unless you were trying to do something hilariously home alone like to ward off burglars? Exactly. It just you do it though. I've, I've you look up YouTube videos. People blowing shit up with tannerite. Some of it's kind of funny. Can I just tell you that if I was to make a movie about uh Having gangbangers try to come kill me. Okay. I would booby trap the shit out of the house and kill them in really fun scientific way. I would get Bill Nye as my consultant on the booby <laughs> traps and shit like that. You just kill them in hilarious ways. It's an action comedy. I would look up medieval ways and do that. Okay. Where am I going to find a tree that I'm strong enough to rig up to two ropes so that they trip a wire and that it comes and slams them in the head? Uh, no, medieval torture devices. You know, what they use to get uh, confessions out of people. Because I was watching Game of Thrones before I came over. That was your first mistake. <laughs> yeah. And uh, they did the rat and the, the hot can thing on the guy's stomach. Ah, uh, you put the rat on somebody's stomach with a can or a pot over it, and then you use a blowtorch on the top. And the rat, feeling the heat, gets scared and tries to chew its way up, but it goes down. It goes down through their belly. Yeah, I can see that one. I've seen that in another movie. So here's the saddest part of this story. Uh, Dickie and his attorney, Sean Chapman, couldn't be reached late Sunday night to confirm whether the baby was a boy or a girl. Oh, bitch. They missed the whole thing. Oh, shit, that's on fire. What, wait, what color was it? Right. So I just think to myself, uh, what the actual fuck? You, nobody could get an answer on that? Nobody? Couldn't call his, the, the kid's mom? Somebody, come on. Let's Not find one out. person saw it? Was it just him and his wife? 47,000 acres burned. No idea what the gender of the baby is. I Son of a bitch. It's just gender fluid then, maybe? No, let's, let's not go down that. <laughs> let's not do that. What? And here's the thing. Because these gender reveals are fucking a big deal. No, they're not. They're no, they're big business on the internet for well, yeah, get, for going are viral. At that, but it's really not. It's not. But people, because they're self-absorbed in our instant fame over the internet society, you got like a guy I saw in the last few years that had a hockey puck, and when he slap at it, there was a cloud of colored dust. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I I think uh, went to the ultrasound. It's like, yep. It's a boy. Yep, 
It's a girl. I made a girl? Holy shit. Well, every time I was hoping to see the two little pussy lip lines, which you can see if the baby's positioned right. I'm uh, going, yes, yeah. I can use all the same clothes and toys. I don't have to buy any new shit, really. When Turtle was in the womb and we were doing the, uh, the ultrasound, yeah, she was just like, look at me! Just pulled her legs up and just like, check it out. Yeah, basically. I mean, There's just no like... bowels. What a hilarious way to become famous on the internet by starting a forest fire with your stupid gender reveal. Yeah, do something cute, but you don't gotta freaking like, make an event out of it. You you were gonna tell a story about something? Well, it just, he, this guy accidentally started a fire doing a gender reveal. Okay, okay. So you wanted to talk about locally, uh, we had a volunteer firefighter who wanted to be a hero. Well, that what I understand, he was just, he needed money. And there wasn't a lot of firefighting going on. So he drove around what is known as the Carlos Avery uh, Wildlife Management Preserve in uh, northern Anoka County. And he was shooting bottle rockets out the window of his car trying to get a fire started. But witnesses saw him. Dumbass. Yeah, uh, Yeah, he got in a lot of trouble for that. Apparently he never heard the phrase, no witnesses, no proof. Yeah. Idiot. Yeah, he should have been. No loose ends. At least he has a cool story to tell for going viral, whereas uh, NBA player uh, Gordon Hayward Mm -hmm. of the Celtics, he had two daughters. Okay. And uh, they did a gender reveal with balloons. Okay. So when they go to actually reveal the gender, his reaction is just like, yeah, great. Like, he's not at all enthused. Here's him with his two daughters, opening it up. What comes out? That's his wife. Yummy. She doesn't even look pregnant. <laughs> he's like, I Daddy's don't want a girl. I want always a, happy. I want a boy. It just sucks. That's great. I'm glad I never was uh, vacuous enough to never get involved in such a practice. Uh, yeah, we didn't either. We just, I remember we were sitting at the ultrasound and I was, we were texting our friends and family, place your bets, boy or girl. That's a good one. I, on the other hand, opted for the super secret option where I told (laughs) no one that I had made a baby. (laughs) You made a baby till your baby, till Juice was what? Six months old? No, 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 no. The first time that any of my friends knew that I was a father is when one of them called me. And said, hey, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm at the hospital. I'm like, oh, well, what's what's wrong? I'm like, oh, just because we had a baby. What? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, we had a baby. Me and my girlfriend. We had you a baby. call more often. And he's just <laughs> like, are, are you fucking with me? I'm like, no, come up right now. Come, we're in room such and such. And the next thing I know, I got six of my friends, you know, three couples coming up to see us. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, I said to myself, how can I make this very me? How can I pull... Like, I love to get away with shit like that. Like, can I keep this a secret? It was a fucking game. Yeah. Well, at least they found out, like, shortly after she was born. When you you sent me a picture? I don't remember that one. No, I, no, I remember. I think I, it's my profile pic when you call my phone, I think. I still have the picture, I think. That's probably me holding Chi-Chi. No, that's Juice. Like, that's the picture you sent me. You're like, you're like, hey, what are you doing? I was like, oh, nothing, just blah, blah, blah. Why, what'd you up to? You're like, well, this. And I, I get, I see a picture of you holding a baby. But the baby was like three, four, five months old at the time, maybe even Fantastic. six months old. Fantastic. Fantastic. I'm just like, do you have a fucking kid? See, like, that's why. It's like, it's I know we haven't awesome. talked in a while, but Jesus. Right. How many people do you know that have kept their pregnancy a secret the entire time? Well, that happens all the time if you watch Sally Jesse and pathetic shit like that. That's a little bit different. That's when extremely (laughs) fat women get knocked up and then suddenly a baby falls out and they're like, holy shit, I was pregnant. No wonder I didn't get my period for the last 10 months. (laughs) So that was the thing is that uh, there was a few close calls at Target where friends of ours walked up and I told the beast because she was like six and a half, seven months pregnant. I'm like, Okay, try to suck it in. I know you can't suck it in, but try to suck it in. And her jacket was big enough because it was winter so that she could hide it. And nobody seemed to notice because it just looked like she had a little bit of a beer gut now that she was pregnant. So if those two people that saw it 
were tipped off. That's fucking Chi Chi. That's not Chi Chi. You took that photo. No, I didn't. That, yes, it is. That I was know the picture that you sent me. You. No, I sent you a picture that you took for me. That's Chi Chi, dude. Oh, that. Yes, it That's is. That's the first picture you sent me. You're telling me that I... Gee, don't be Danny. Don't tell me I'm misremembering details of my own life. That's a <laughs> Linda move and a Danny move. That's Chi-Chi. That's my second born. Look at the color of the eyes on that kid. Look at the face. That is not the juice. The juice has blue eyes. Chi-Chi has brown eyes like her mom. Hmm. Those are okay. I'm full of shit the beast eyes. You took that photo. Okay, maybe I did, but I remember you sending me a picture. I Yeah, well, I could be, but it wasn't that picture. And then once no, I, fuck me. Yeah. Well, <laughs> like, then, like... and then once I knocked her up again on accident, I might add you. I'm like, can I do this again? Can I keep it a secret a second time? Because I didn't even tell my folks about the juice until I think we were in the second month of the pregnancy or the third. I don't know. Either way, I told my mom, I'm like, you shut your fucking mouth, Linda. Don't you tell a goddamn soul. This is my thing that I get to do. It was so great to have something that she knew that if she ruined it for me, I would be furious and she might not get to come around and see her own grandchild. That I held that over her. I lorded over her with that, keep that shit a secret. And then last Christmas. <laughs> and you know how my mom likes to fucking shoot her mouth off. Oh, yes, she does. Oh, my God. It's like a present to myself that I tortured her with forced secrecy because she can't keep her <laughs> mouth shut about anything. No, she can't. God damn, she calls people Rona Barretts. She's a fucking Rona Barrett. I like how we went from talking about a guy that pulled a totally stupid boner and started a forest fire <laughs> and me bitching about my mom. How about that? So fast forward to the second pregnancy, and I did it again. Had a few close calls, but I did it again. Like, I didn't tell anybody at work. Well, here's the thing. With the juice, I didn't tell anybody at work. And then I told my boss, I need, I'm need. i going to be taking a few days off. And he's like, oh, you're going on vacation? I'm like, oh, no, me and my girlfriend have a baby. Baby? <laughs> what do you mean? And I wanted to be like, well, I put my penis in her vagina, and then I blew my load, and then a baby happened. So I'm like, well, she's having a baby, and uh, I'm going to be taking a week and a half off or so. Oh. Well, congratulations, I guess. <laughs> right. And uh, so the second time, obviously, I was just like, everybody at work, shut the fuck up. I don't need you talking about it with each other because they didn't find out until like way later, like five, six months in, maybe later. I don't remember when you told me about uh, Chi Chi. So I warned people, I'm like, I will file a grievance against anybody that gets caught talking about this shit to the inmates because if I come back for my month off and those motherfuckers are asking me about it, I didn't say motherfuckers because I said it in a staff meeting. Like, if I come back and any of the inmates are asking me about it, I'm going to know it's somebody at this table. And here's my dipshit, beak face fuck of a former boss. Well, I think we've got a pretty good group here. And they know I'm like, well, obviously I don't feel the same way or I wouldn't be bringing it up. <laughs> that got a weird look from them. And a lot of awkward silence from a few people sitting close to me in that meeting. Which were the exact people I fucking were, was thinking about. Ah. So what's so fun about a gender reveal? I don't know. It's a very fucking selfish thing. It like I demand attention. Ooh, look at this. I made a baby. What's it going to be? Yeah, it's fun for some people, but in reality, like I could give a fuck less. When these reveal videos happen, I think to myself, "Okay, what creative way did they think of that nobody's done yet?" That's different. How much time and effort did you put into this thing that doesn't really make much of a difference? Right. Like for us it was just She's like, my family only produces girls, which does, doesn't seem like a legitimate argument. The number one fan bloodline usually just produces boys, you know, because cause who controls that shit? And, but I wasn't sure, you know, I was just like, I've I've already had two boys. What's this next one going to be? And so it was just well, hopefully like. hopefully white and human. Was, hopefully, yeah. So I was like, well, I wonder if I can make some money off this. So I started to place your bets, you know, we're. We're at the ultrasound right now. We're going to know in about 10 minutes here. And uh, I don't remember if I texted you or not. I, I don't recall. I, I, I must have texted about 15 people. And, yeah, there was some money on it. And uh, I owe Miss, you know, Mrs. Number One fan and I, we exchanged, uh, you know, more personable stuff, which she's only collected on half of it. 
That was dead wrong. I thought that for sure was going to be a boy. The real gender reveals those people that don't find out until the kid pops out. That's like fucking jumping on a grenade right that, there. That is, because you could end up buying all the wrong shit for the room. I, I mean, you can't buy everything gender neutral. Don't tell that to some of these sanctimonious motherfuckers on the internet that are like, and we're not finding out because we want it to be a special moment. We don't want to have anticipation. We have names picked out for both, and we're buying a lot of yellows and greens. It's If you do it, fine, more power to you, but you could do it like the Beast's brother, who went to the hospital with his girlfriend at the time, and he already had two kids. So he was sweating this third one. Mm -hmm. Different chick. That baby comes out and his mom goes, that kid ain't yours. (laughs) Because the baby came out fucking mulatto. And he's white and half Israeli. So really he looks like white. And the mom was white. So baby should have come out white. White. Right. You want to talk about a fucking surprise? Who cares about colored balloons in a box? That fucking kid came out half black. See, now if you're going to cheat, she was somebody the same color. Sorry. Sorry to say it that way. Maybe. That's maybe. a smart way to do yeah, it. That's a, a responsible to way to be a floozy. But think about him. <laughs> Suddenly he's like, fuck it. He walked out of the hospital and went out for a drink. He was happier and shit. He didn't have to have not this mine. kid. Yeah, it's not well, his. Technically, I had never heard he break up with her. He broke up with her. Okay. And then the kid got taken away by Child Protective Services because she was a meth head. You know such wonderful people. Right. And then uh, a few years later, they got back together. Uh And guess what they did? They had another kid? They made a baby. Is it the same It's the right color. It's the right color this time. Take this one back. It's not the right shade. (laughs) Uh, This one's overcooked. (laughs) uh, You left it in too long. Oh, man. Right. Right. Well, that's what happens when uh, hell if that's <laughs> stupid people making babies. So no, yeah. well, and if, yeah, if I ever, uh, God, I just, I just don't get it. Well, it's like um, in the movie Me Myself and Irene, all black Jim sons, they, they all come up. I was like, wow, and he's like in such denial the whole time that they're not his. Yeah, well, obviously, he thinks yes. he's like, no, oh, these are mine. Yes, they're, because they're, they're Jim Carrey's Italian. white and the mom's white and the kids yeah. are black. <laughs> it's like they're my my. Grandma's half Italian. Well, that's art imitating <laughs> life. Interact with the show on Twitter at what do we call it? That is at what do we call it? You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash group slash what do we call it podcast shoe. For the what do we call it podcast, I'm J Man. And I'm number one fan, Tim. And that's the end. Say, Daddy, can you help me? Help me. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Whoa! It's a girl! <laughs> Whoa! You want a girl? Bernie, you were right. <laughs> Is Daddy happy? Daddy's always happy. <laughs> <laughs>